Hey, what's up? My name is Marcos. I'm a director of photography based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And in today's video, I want to show you how to set up the EL Zone system on the small HD monitor, which as you've seen on my previous video, I explained how to use it. There'll be a card here if you want to check it out. What I realized, I didn't fully explain how to go through the color pipe and how to monitor that image using your small HD monitor. Here I have the V Raptor. Uh, the red V-Raptor and the small HD in the 7. So let's walk through the menus and the second part of this I'll walk you through uh, How to set up the exposure for this particular scene. So let's step into this. Okay, first of all you can see here I'm outputting the log footage to the monitor. This is the only way you can monitor uh, the with the EL Zone system you have to output a log profile. So what do you do? You, I have here the red um, app and I opened it up. You click here and you see the SDI one look. You wanna make sure it's not set to image LUT, it's set to RWG log 3G10. You See there, done. Uh, also here, the output color space, you can select red gamut RGB, done. That's it, that's how I got the the uh, flat profile. If I had set this to Rec 709 and image LUT, you see that's how it looks with the color. Now I'm going to go back to RWG. That should be fine. I've, I haven't noticed any difference when I just leave Rec 709 out color, color, output color space. I select it anyways like this and now you see the flat profile. Um, so now what you want to do is Swipe to the right and go to color pipe. And I already have here log 3G10. So to set it up, you can select new color pipe. Click down. You want to put uh, select input type log camera. We're shooting with the red raptor, so it's red. Red, white, gamut RGB, the color space, curve, log 3G10 not G12, 3G10, uh, range auto and YCC standard auto. That's how I leave it. And that's it. And now we can select instead of the color pipe one, the three, because that's what we just set. Let's change it to three. And that's what's coming out of SDI one, which is what this monitor is outputting. So that's it. And now it's ready to go. We can turn on the EL Zone system, the exposure assist. You see I already set it. If you don't have it here in your menus, you gotta, you have to select the plus sign. Go to, um, where is it? Exposure assist, add to this page. Uh, it's set to style Ari. You wanna change that to the EL Zone. There it is. And show color scale. I like to leave that on. And there you go. Now you see that's the exposure assist, assist turned on. And, and you can see the different exposure values. Uh, obviously we need to add more light to our subject and in order to keep, um, to keep the natural look of the scene. Um, okay, another thing you could do once you turn this off and you, you wanna look at what it would look like with the LUT on, uh, you can add the look that you're gonna apply a LUT to the page, add to this page. Uh, you wanna select the 3D LUT, 3D LUT file, read only storage, this is built into the small HD. You select that, scroll down to um, red log 3G10 to rec 709, and this gives you a very accurate representation of what it will look like once you color grade with the LUT. So if you select the Exposure Assist, it automatically turns off the LUT because you're only um, exposing or, or monitoring the image with the log, right? And same thing, once you go back to the look, it turns off the Exposure Assist, and so you can go back and forth. All right, so essentially what I have here, this is a typical documentary shoot. I come in location, I scout the best way to shoot, I talk to the director, hey, do you want to see windows? Because other parts of the room don't look great. If we're gonna be here for long hours, maybe I don't wanna see the windows because the lighting is gonna change constantly. 
right now it's the evening and the sun is dropping and so ideally I would not shoot into the windows I would shoot into the room and maybe block out the windows and keep it consistent in this case just to show you how to expose out the windows we're going to try the scene I'm doing a book light with the 600D bounce right into the wall coming through a 6x6 full grid to extend the window make it look like there's another window here and it's naturally coming into our subject so that's what we got going on and so we're going to use here a uh, red v-raptor and the small hd nd7 to set our exposure using the el song system so let's get into it all right so right now if we look at this image i mean we still need more light i'm going to turn up my key light in a little bit um i already kind of know where i need to be um right now i'm at a t2 on on the camera and i have four stops of nd but let's start from scratch I'm gonna take off the ND, the matte box here, and you see immediately the exposure, it's, it's overblown because I took off four stops of ND. And how did I figure out I need four stops of ND? If we take off, if we turn on the light, you see it's overexposed. I wanna make sure I get some details that it's not overexposed here on the, on the windows. So what I do is I start at T2 and I start bringing down, closing down the iris until I get some exposure on the windows and which is right about T8. So T8 counting back, five, six, one stop, four is two stops, two, eight, that's three, and T2, that's four stops. So at T8, I get exposure out the windows. So if I go to, if I add four stops of ND here, which will, will come in here with the four stops, and I go to T2, Now I get exposure out the windows. Let's see how that looks with the LUT. I think that looks pretty decent there. So now if I turn on my exposure assist again, I'm gonna try to get the skin tones in the plus one section. So let's start bringing up the, the, the brightness on my key light to about 20, what is that? 25%, 27%, about 27%. And let's see how that looks, we'll turn on the LUT. That looks pretty natural to me. Uh, maybe turn it down to like 24%, give or take. That looks pretty natural. Like essentially what I'm doing here is extending the window. And so that's how I set my scene for, for, this, for, for uh, this environment here. So this is how I would set the scene. Again, uh, this is essentially a book light. It's very simple lighting scenario. Um, I'm shooting this in the evening, so the lighting is constantly changing on me. So again, take note of that. Be aware of how, what the sun is doing, what time of the day you're shooting, and how the sun is going to affect the windows. If you can, also bring shears with you. I like to do that and put them up uh, because sometimes you might not have shears on location, so that makes it difficult. I don't like seeing out the windows because it can be very distracting. I like to keep the, the focus on the subject. So. This is essentially uh, how I approach these kind of scenarios. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.